All right, we have our vector. Now, let's, let's see how we do this. Use matrices to propagate the ray vector through the optical, uh, let's say, system. So the light's going to go through the optics. We're going to keep up with a specific ray. The first thing we have to think of is the easiest possible one is basically translation. So this is no lenses or anything. It's just the ray moves through space. And remember, in the limit of paraxial optics. And we used to say, well, that just means that the ray is very close to the optical axis and keeps a small angle. So now we mathematically know what that means is small y, small alpha. So let's have a look. Let's see, so if we drew our optical axis down here, and we think about a ray that is at this height and going off at this angle. So here is y naught, the original height, and here's alpha naught. That's the properties y naught, or the properties right here. But now what we want to do is let it translate, let it propagate a distance um, L. So, well, geometrically we know what's going to happen is we just draw the line. We know the light moves in a straight line and we think about what is it doing here. Well, here it is at this height and it's at that angle. So we have a matrix that describes that. The matrix is 1 L 0 1. Yes, 1, L, 0, 1. And the way we use it mathematically is we say, what happens? Well, we take your input light, y naught, alpha naught, and then you apply the matrices to it as things happen, right? So what happened? We had this ray, and it translated. So we apply the translation matrix to it. 1, um, L, 0, 1. And then that is going to be equal to y and alpha, the new y and alpha. And we can multiply it real quick and see if that's the case. So you've got to remember how to multiply matrices. This is um, 1 times y naught plus L times alpha naught ends up in the top. So that's y naught plus um, L times alpha naught. And then in the bottom, you have 0 plus 1 times alpha naught. And you can see that for small angles, that's actually correct. Well, if this thing goes in a straight line, it's going to be at the same angle. So the new alpha is going to be at alpha naught. And uh, how high is it going to go? Well, for small angles, you can approximately say it's going to go um, a distance of this alpha naught times that distance L. For small angles, sine equals tangent, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see for small angles, this simple matrix does work. So that is the basic idea. You take a ray. Something physical happens, you have a matrix for that physical thing, so you multiply that matrix times the ray, and you get the new ray. And as you'll see, you just do it over and over and over again.